So, hey, hey guys, I hope you're all doing great. So another day, another week, another new ASIC miner launch, ASIC miner launch home, ASIC miner for Bitcoin. Uh, looks like Avalon is trying to take over the market with the home miner developments. And, you know, they're releasing every month some new miner. And this to me looks so far the best by judging by the performance, by the price, and also by the um, efficiency as well. So this is the latest generation miner, which is the Avalon Q model, which looks similar as the desktop computer. Um, so it's, it will be launched today and uh, the, the sales will start today and the deliveries will be first batch will be very small, but uh, we will get a few of them and they will be available for delivery end of April. The next batch will be bigger batch in end of May. So if you want to get these, you know, just check them out. Um, so this is how the miner will look like. Um, there's a small screen, there's a LAN port, there's a USB port, which they also saying that it will be, uh, you know, Wi-Fi dongle will be supported, which you can use the Wi-Fi connection as, as this, as on, you know, the same as on the Mini 3 and the Nano 3S, the previous releases, which were released there in January, the small lottery miner and the heater. So this miner also um, could generate some heat. Um, it looks similar, similar as desktop computer. Uh, in the casing, they have the nice logos of Avalon. Um, I just don't see any pictures from the back of the miner. Um, they say there is a power supply port at the back of it. So let's go into details. What kind of performance this, this miner does. And uh, this miner has, you know, on the high mode, I believe, is uh, having a 90 terahash using at 1.67 kilowatts and the efficiency is on this one here is 18.6 18 joules per terahash so so pretty good pretty impressive for a whole miner and uh, um, yeah, because the previous generation, like the, the, the one released in January was 21.3 best efficiency for the um, mini tree miner. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. The mini tree we had it here. Okay, this this is the mini tree, and this one had you can see 21.3 joules per terahash. But this one, the latest one, has 18.6 um, joule per terahash. I'm pretty impressive, and also I can you know see that the price per uh, price per uh, uh, terahash will be cheaper than, than on a Mini 3 miner. So let's see what kind of more details they have. Avalon is a professional hole mining machine. Da, 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 da. It uses from 800 to 1600 watts. Oh, okay, so there will be few mining modes and it uses four nanometer processing chips. It can deliver maximum performance up to 90 terahash, which is nice. So, and of course, what's most important for hole miners is the Noise level, it's for starting at 45 decibels, extremely quiet, minimum noise level 40. If you're, you'll be happy if you know the notice is present, very low key. Okay, and does support LAN and Wi-Fi, which is good. So it means you don't need uh, to, you know, run the cables everywhere, but, you know, I would suggest you to run on the LAN cable. You don't want that uh, latency too high. Um, so yeah, the, they have three modes, super mode, 1600 watts, then the standard mode, 1300 watts, and echo mode, 800 watts. They have warranty, 360 days. Well, guys, I want to tell you something about, you know, it like, looks like Avalon really want to take over the, the some, you know, give some competition at least for, for Bitmain uh, with their miners. They, I can tell you from my experience, they warranty as absolutely brilliant. They respond fast. They will repair your miner fast. They have a repair center in the in the Europe. That means you don't need to ship it to China to get it repaired. You know, expensive shipping costs. You know, if you're if you're a buyer in Europe as well, um, like we sell the miners in Europe mostly. Our biggest market is Europe, so. We will be selling these as well. They are, they are launching today and they will be available, but there will be limited quantities available. So you can see that there's a power button, there's a reset button, there's a screen. So I assume that will show hash rate or something. 
maybe clock or we'll see that. We'll have that this device for testing as well, end of April, and I'll pro probably do an updated video on this uh, just to see uh, how does it look like. Uh, then it has the LAN connection, uh, status light, so green or red probably, and the outlet is on the back. Um, packaging is always good. All of these home miners, they have had brilliant packaging. Um, they are using, I can see, uh, protecting the planet and develop to green mining. Package miners with recycled and renewable materials. Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and starting price will be 1,888 US dollars. I think that's a good price. I think that's a good price. Let's see on the calculator how much that per terahash, for per, per gigahash, for terahash, yeah. So 188 divided by 90 is, it's two, no, sorry, I need to divide 1,088 divided by 90 terahash is 21 US dollars per terahash, where the mini was uh, 899 divided by uh, divided by 37.5 and where the mini was 24 um, dollars per terahash. So yeah this Avalon Q is a little bit better better uh, price per terahash and also better efficiency than the uh, Avalon Mini 3 uh, which was the January batch release, January, January minor release um, but yeah um, I think it's a good choice also for, 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 yeah, this probably is a little bit better choice than, but you know, also the price tag is a little bit higher. It's a bit, a little bit better choice than mini, as a mini tree, because this miner also could generate heat in your home because, you know, because of it's, it's so quiet. If you run it at 45 decibels, um, we will have this device as well. I just want to test it as out as well. Usually Avalon is, you know, very correct with their data. Sometimes the machines are performing even better than they are advertised. And uh, yeah, so we will test out this this device. Um, so the profitability, you can see that the, it generates revenue currently 4.1 uh, euros a day. Um, I'm using just here the nice hash calculator and um, yeah, calculating at 10 cents of uh, electric and uh, so 4.12 euro is around roughly four four and a half us dollars a day and the profit on this is uh, um, 32 euro cents which is roughly maybe 35 us dollar cents a day um yeah the, the the profit won't be big on this device you know because you know it's bitcoin miner and the bitcoin miners you know there's you know a lot lower list compared to like other coins, like for example, you know, Caspa we had last year, you know, crazy profits, then suddenly there's, you know, KS5 doesn't even cover the electric costs. Um, so it's not as big profit on the Bitcoin miners, but it's a lot more secure because, you know, these devices doesn't age that fast than uh, altcoin devices. And uh, yeah, the efficiency is quite great, you know, 18.6 joules, as terahash, you know, something similar as S21. Uh, well, as a whole miner, I think it's a good choice. Also, it has, you know, 110 to 240 volts, so you can run in USA as well from normal home socket. Um, yeah, and then you can, of course, you know, you can take a gamble, maybe, uh, you know, mine uh, solo mining, because this is so quiet, you can keep in a, even a home, generate heat, and mine as a solo where you could potentially, you know, you have a lot higher chance to hit a mine Bitcoin block than with Avalon Nano 3S or Avalon Mini, because this is a lot more performance. The, the more performance you have, the bigger chance you have hit. Overall, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, overall, I'm thinking that this device is, you know, quite attractive purchase um, because of the you know, one of the cheapest price per terahash because, uh, you know, the efficiency, because of if you just want to, you know, mine from home, if you're a home user, um, you know, you could, uh, you know, easy do that. You can mine Bitcoin from home, you know, at that kind of performance, 90 terahash, you know, it's quite high, you know. Remember the, you know, just a few years ago, Unminer S19, 
Um, you know, S19 Pro, you know, is exactly the same performance, just much more efficient. Uh, which where on my S19, there's no way you can run it from from home. Maybe just using some kind of immersion cooling. Uh, but you know, this device now you can run the same performance you can run from the home. So it seems quite interesting. You know, let me down in comments below what you think about this device. You know, hit that like button on video if you have, haven't done so yet, and subscribe to the channel not miss any new minor releases and mining tutorials. So guys. Comment down below what you think about this miner. You know, is it really worth it? Is it, you know, nice thing to buy? Um, otherwise, guys, take care. I see you on the next one. Goodbye, goodbye. Mine hardcore or don't mine at all.